dear students uh, this is our second lecture on uh, bio organic chemistry and we are discussing basic concepts of bio organic chemistry in this lecture uh, we will be discussing molecular adaptation uh, the molecular adaptation is the ability of any molecule to be recognized by a receptor and display the same biological activity as displayed by any bioactive molecule. So uh, this phenomenon depends on similarity in the shape of the molecule in comparison to bioactive molecule. The compounds with uh, similar structure, uh, they may show uh, same biological activity that uh, of the biological target. And uh, this uh, concept uh, gives us the opportunity to find out uh, different types of uh, molecules which can adapt uh, the biological activity of uh, different types of targets and uh, the information about bioactivity uh, this is extremely useful in designing new drugs or target molecules through molecular modeling or modification which can be used very effectively for the treatment of different types of diseases. Now uh, we know that uh, nucleic acids uh, either DNA or RNA uh, they are used by all uh, living systems to store genetic information and uh, this uh, information uh, flows from uh, DNA to RNA and then uh, this is uh, transfer, uh, translated for the synthesis of all uh, proteins which are needed for our uh, routine functional that is uh, uh, cellular functions and uh, structures so uh, because of that so any compound which interferes with the synthesis of these proteins which are needed for our cellular function and structure that will be a toxic to all forms of life and such type of compounds which interferes with the synthesis of uh, these proteins which are uh, essential for our life they are called as anti-metabolites so for example uh, this compound 5-fluorouracil uh, this is called as an anti-metabolite because it interferes with the synthesis of DNA. Now what happens is that uh, this 5-fluorouracil if we add this will inhibit the enzymatic synthesis of thiamine. So this is thiamine from uracil. So this is uracil. So uracil is converted into thi thiamine by enzymatic methylation during DNA synthesis. Only difference is that here urophil, uh, uh, uracil is having hydrogen and thiamine is having methyl. So methylation at this position will lead to the formation of thiamine. But if we will add 5-fluorouracil then conversion of uracil into this uh, thiamine will be inhibited. And if this is inhibited that means whatsoever function are required to be done by thiamine they will not be done. So that is why this is acting as an anti -metabolic. And why it is acting as an anti-metabolite? You just see the structure of these two, these three even. So here you are having only hydrogen and that hydrogen has been replaced by fluorine. And this is methyl. So they have a structural similarity. So that is why this is inhibiting the formation of uh, thiamine from uracil because this is acting as an 
anti metabolite and in other words you, we can say that 5 fluorouracil being smaller in size and shape with uh, uh, with similar size in uh, and shape with uracil this is adapted by the enzyme leading to its inhibition for the conversion of uracil to thiamine so the active site of the enzyme will adapt this instead of this so that is why this conversion will not take place so this is called as molecular adaptation that 5 fluoro uh, 5 fluoro uracil has been adapted by the enzyme which will inhibit the conversion of uracil to thiamine and then uh, similarly one more example 5 fluorocytosine uh, this is uh, cytosine and if i replace this hydrogen this will become 5 fluorocytosine so that means they are similar in size and shape and this will act as an analog of cytosine which is a common antibiotic used for bacterial infections so the antibiotic enters through bacterial cell wall and destroys it so this is again an example of antimetabolite then uh, another example is uh, antiviral agent uh, vitrabine uh, this this is vitrabine this has a similar structure that of uh, deoxyadenosine so this is our deoxyadenosine and you can see they are similar in size and shape only difference being this hydrogen has been replaced by OH group and if we compare it with ribonucleosides RNA then only difference is here hydroxyl group is equatorial hydrogen is axial here hydrogen is axial and OH is equatorial. So because of similar in size and shape this uh, vitrabine uh, uh, will act as a uh, anti-metabolite or this will be adapted by the uh, biological system. So uh, this uh, is uh, vitrabine is adapted in the biological system so because of that vitrabine shows antiviral properties uh, on inversion of configuration at c to oh group of the sugar ring on phosphorylation this becomes a potent inhibitor of dna synthesis if i phosphorylate this hydroxyl group this will become phosphate so this will uh, be an inhibitor of dna synthesis and will act as an anti-metabolite and this will be adapted in the biological system then few more examples uh, acetylcholine and uh, carbachol this is carbachol this is acetylcholine and if you see their structure and shape almost similar only difference being here this is having a mino group here this is having methyl group and because of the similar chemical structure they show similar biological activity they act as uh, muscarinic uh, properties and uh, they act as uh, neurotransmitters this is the structure of muscarine uh, which shows uh, these activities and uh, their structure and uh, shape is almost similar this is only cyclic whereas uh, th these are non-cyclic compounds so these two they can be adapted very well against the activity of these types of compounds and they can act as acetylcholine and carbachol they can act as neurotransmitters so they can be adapted very well in the biological system so they act as antimatter uh, then a small uh, introduction to molecular asymmetry so uh, as I have told you uh, that molecules they are adapted 
you will see in case of drugs the chirality gives rise to different types of enantiomers and depending upon the type of enantiomer it will have a different kind of chemical and physical property in a chiral environment and if you see this molecule as dopa this act as neurotransmitter drug for treatment of parkinsonian uh, parkinson disease but if you will use our enantiomer of this dopa that will not be effective as a drug so what i mean to say is that out of the two isomers only one enantiomer can be having that effect of a drug the other can either have no effect or it can have an adverse effect also similarly s enantiomers of nsaids non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs they act as anti inflammatory drugs say ibuprofen the s enantiomer is only acting as anti inflammatory drug not the r iso enantiomer similarly this anti hypertensive drug as propanolol only s enantiomer is effective r is not effective as a drug so there are so many examples uh, this uh, bupivacaine so here also the one enantiomer that is s enantiomer act as a local anesthetics but not the r enantiomer so this act as a fun, fun, this enantiomer act as a fun, fungicidal whereas this act as a insecticidal but r enantiomer is not effective so uh, the molecular adaptation also will depend on chirality or molecular symmetry of the molecules thank you very much